Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a tutorial on this look right here and it's super bold, super colorful, big lashes, glitter, like the whole shebang basically going on here. Um, it's very avant-garde and editorial and not something that you would wear every day, but I think it was a fun look to make and to do. So if you would like to see how to achieve this look right here, then keep on watching. Okay, so I've already gone in and put on my foundation and concealer and powder, all that good stuff for my face. Did that first. And now I'm going to go in with this palette right here. This is the 12P palette by Morphe and it has literally all of these beautiful colors in it. And like looking at this is just like so many ideas come to my head. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take a Morphe R40 brush and this white shade right here and just put that all over my eye because I think that's really gonna help the bright colors like really pop. All right, and next for in my crease, I'm gonna be using this orange shade right here and going in with a Morphe M433 brush to just blend that all into my crease. And you wanna make sure that, especially when you're doing a really colorful look like this, that your transition shade is really blown out towards your eyebrow and just kind of slowly fades away because that's gonna make it look less harsh and like more consistent. You just don't want any harsh lines. You want all of this just to be very, blown out, very airbrushed looking. And next, to add even more definition to my crease, I'm gonna be going in with this like hot pink shade right here. And I'm gonna be using a Sephora 27 blending brush and just putting that a little bit lower in my crease so not as blown out as we did the orange shade, but still pretty, not super tight in my crease, but still pretty blown out. And I just went back in with that brush that I used the orange shadow with just to go over that because I kind of lost the orange for a second, but I didn't pick up any more product. I literally just went back in with the brush and I'm just going over it and the orange is starting to pick up a little bit more. So we're saving it. Don't worry about it. You can always keep blending and fix any problem that you have. And then to darken up the crease even more, this color we're gonna keep lowest to our natural crease. We're gonna go in with this like dark red color right here. And I'm gonna use a Morphe M507 brush and it's just a more tapered, smaller blending brush. And we're just gonna keep that super low like in the crease. All right, so that red shade added a little bit of definition, but it's not as dark as I wanted it to be. So I'm gonna go in in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and use this shade right here called Love Letter and just using the same brush to try to buff it into the crease and add some darkness and definition in there. Okay, so next I'm gonna kinda half cut my crease to make way for a yellow shadow that we're gonna be putting on the lid. So, and I don't want it to be super heavy, so I'm just gonna go back in with my shape tape that I used as concealer today and take it on a MAC 212 little flat definer brush just to cut out that first part of my crease. I'm just blending out and fading out that outside edge. All right, so next for all over my lid, I'm gonna go in with this yellow shade right here on a little packer brush, and this is the Morphe M421 brush. So I'm gonna put it on the actual brush first, like this, and then I'm gonna go through and spray it with my MAC Fix Plus, just so the pigment really like transfers like a lot more opaque and like bright onto my lid. Y'all, I played basketball yesterday and my arm is so sore. Like, I just, I need to work out my arms more or something because it, like, it hurts to stretch it out. Oh my goodness, I'm 
so pitiful. <laughs> okay, so just yellow all over everything. Next, I'm gonna be going back into this shade right here, Love Letter, with a small detail brush just to run that on the very outside edge of my lower lash line. And I'm blending that up into my top eyeshadow. So next for my inner corner, but underneath my eye, I'm gonna be going in with this right here, and this is by JD Glow Cosmetics, and this is their liquid glitter tube, so it's basically a glitter liner. And this is in the color Jelly Bean, and it's just like purpley and pinky and sparkly and beautiful. And I think this would look really cool just right in this area in my lower lash line. All right, and next for lashes, I'm gonna be using these right here, and these are the Kim Tai and Cake Face Beauty collaboration, and these are the Lion Hearted Lashes, and they're so pretty and so super fluffy, and I think these will look really nice with this look right here. So what I'm gonna do is just do a black line straight across my eye, and then put these lashes on off of camera, and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, and next for highlight, I'm gonna be going into this Jeffree Star Cosmetics and Manny MUA collaboration. And this is the shade Eclipse, and I'm just gonna be putting this all over my cheekbone. Alrighty, and I don't really want to draw any more attention or color away from my eyes, so I'm not gonna do any blush with this because I feel like it doesn't necessarily need it. You could totally do like a more brown toned or more natural looking toned blush with this and that would totally be fine, but I would probably recommend staying away from um, colored blushes like peachy or what. Peachy or could work with like the orange and the pink, but like a very small amount of it if you do like decide to do a look like this for some reason. Um, but for my lips, I'm going to be going in with this shade by Morphe. This is just Morphe day right here. Okay. <laughs> going in with this shade right here by Morphe, and it is their liquid lip in the shade Jealousy. All right, everybody, so this is the finished look right here, and I know that this look is more on the editorial end than a wearable end. But it was super fun to do, and I think it's fun to like just play with colors sometimes and see what things can go together and what kind of colors you didn't think would look good on you. And I think it's just fun to sometimes play around. Um, but if you guys would like to see a video with a more like natural look but still incorporating a little bit of color then definitely comment down below or message me on any of my social media links they're all down below but that would be i think it would be fun to do so let me know if you would want to see that if you like this video leave a thumbs up and a comment below and subscribe to my channel it would mean so so much to me and i would really appreciate it thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye oh. That's fine. That's fine, we're fine. All right, if you like this video, please.